Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Watching this spot here, you see just near the British U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, this little flare up here, that is going to spread some moisture across a higher chance of rain. And this is actually a spot that if this were about a month and a half or two months from now, that I'd be watching for tropical development. Not going to see that in this case. Again, this is kind of more above our heads, not necessarily down at the surface, but a trough of low pressure, a little disturbance that will be sliding by and it will increase the rain chance for some of us. You see it kind of flaring up here. So we have some of the moisture here and this will just progress across. And especially in the Dominican Republic, even parts of Haiti, we're even going to see that flood chance. I'm going to monitor that very carefully across the DR. Higher chance of rain as well back through Puerto Rico where we could get some isolated flooding. Let me go wide and then we'll zoom back down and I want to go island by island with some of the rain totals. See here across the U.S., eastern U.S., mainly on the dry side, much of the Gulf of Mexico Mexico is looking good. More disturbances back toward parts of Mexico and lifting up toward the western portions of the U.S. and western Canada. So let me zoom right back down and get to it because you got things to do. So this is the outlook. This is 5 o'clock today. Showed you that disturbance here. Look how it spreads some rain across. Spotty showers Haiti, a much higher chance Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, scattered showers U.S. and British Virgin Islands. And at times, this is going to enhance the moisture even over toward Jamaica. Jamaica watching us since we really need the rain. Eastern Cuba as well. So this is tomorrow. By tomorrow afternoon, big flare-up of the rain here. Turks and Caicos, this is also going to bump up the rain chance. Bahamas, not as much but Turks and Caicos, and again tomorrow, the DR back through Puerto Rico. The rain chance stays on the higher side. Even in the northeastern Caribbean, we'll get brushed by a few showers. I'll get into those for forecasts, but look here as we work our way into our Wednesday afternoon. See, even in Jamaica by Wednesday, about a 40% chance of some afternoon showers and storms. Not as much here. The disturbance will weaken at this point, but still some scattered showers and storms, especially our northern zones. Then you get into other spots like us in Trinidad that in Tobago. We need the rain. The rain chance bumps up slightly, but it's not too high. Going out on Thursday, see a better chance of rain Suriname and Guyana, and then eventually some of this may clip us by Wednesday night and Thursday in Trinidad. So later this week, the southeastern Caribbean will start to see a better chance of some showers starting to bubble up. You see across Venezuela, Colombia, the rain chance bumps up, and even the ABC Islands will see the rain chance a little higher later this week. So we are going to see that pattern change. So let me flip over here. I want to zoom down. So here we are, Cuba, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Turks and Caicos. We get toward Haiti, the DR, and back toward Puerto Rico. Again, this is today. I just want to give you that zoomed in look and then get into some of those rain totals with you. But you see again, the DR, better chance of rain through Puerto Rico. Even some for tonight, tomorrow morning, at any point throughout the day, we could see that chance of rain. This is our Tuesday afternoon, scattered to widespread right across the Dominican Republic. We will see a river rise. I'm going to watch out for some runoff, isolated flooding, watching out for a few inches of rain in Puerto Rico. And then you see here, here by Wednesday. This is not a washout. Most of the moisture is over toward Hispaniola, but by Wednesday, we'll see a little flare up, especially in the afternoon across Jamaica. So we may catch a few showers in Jamaica then. Now, here's the outlook the three day rain total here. So today, tomorrow, through Wednesday, you see across the DR, a lot of this white shading showing up here, even that black shading, that would be 100 millimeters to about 150 millimeters of rain. That's why, right away at the beginning of this video, I mentioned the flood potential. So thank you for sharing some of this information across the DR. So that's about four to six inches of rain. Not all of us are going to see that across the DR, but we are going to get that in spots that will lead to some flooding. And then some of this, especially our southern zones in Haiti, we could get upwards of about 50 to 75 millimeters of rain or two to three inches of rain over by Jacmel. We'll get some scattered showers kind of coming out of the uh, higher terrain in the Dominican Republic and brushing uh, by the uh, mountainous terrain of uh, southern Haiti. And then Puerto Rico, some spots that blue shading may catch uh, uh, about an inch of rain, but overall about two to four inches of rain back through Puerto Rico. And then we swing back toward the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, about an inch of rain for some of us. And then Jamaica, it just depends on how kind of Wednesday afternoon our thunderstorms shake out. A lot of us, not a ton, but we could see a couple spots getting over 50 millimeters or two inches of rain. Let me zoom down. Here's Jamaica. You see Kingston, for example, especially on the eastern side, that's where we'll see higher totals. And most of this would be 
afternoon variety or Wednesday afternoon where we'll get a few spots over 50 millimeters or over a couple inches of rain. If you get brushed by a shower, we're looking at about 10 to 25 millimeters of rain or less than an inch of some rain. We get back through the uh, uh, northeastern Caribbean, Guadalupe and Dominica, that easterly flow again, enhancing some of the rain. We've had periods of rain as expected this weekend. Keep me posted in the comments if you get some rain. Antigua, Barbuda, a couple of passing showers possible. Here's the big picture. So you can pick a spot on the map where you are. And I mentioned down the road, Venezuela, Colombia, uh, the rain chance will be increasing. You see here a couple systems back through the U.S., but the U.S., not as much action as last week. Last week we had the big front, so severe weather events that were moving by. Scattered showers, there will be some uh, areas of severe weather at times. But here's the system well to the north. And look at the Gulf of Mexico. We are on the dry side, still way too dry, especially parts of Mexico. We've been in extreme drought, northeastern Mexico, into parts of Texas, where we desperately need to get some rain. And just going throughout the week, this is Tuesday, and you can see Tuesday, not much action, more of it up to the north. And then I'll bring it back out into Wednesday. And you see, again, some of that disturbance right there. But you see here, most of the moisture, mid-Atlantic, back toward the Great Lakes, watching a little bit of snow over toward parts of the Rocky Mountains. So southern U.S. looks to be a little drier. Let me get up here and then get into some of the forecasts for you. Here's uh, New England, the mid-Atlantic. Uh, we get back toward Nova Scotia. And uh, Newfoundland, watching out for that chance of some rain today. Scattered showers will be around really over the next couple of days, but in particular later today with some of this kind of uh, creeping by. This is 5 o'clock today. Tonight, we'll see that chance of some showers. And then you see here as we work our way into tomorrow, not as wet, but still some showers around. So we'll be watching that. May get a little bit of snow, but mainly the scattered rain showers as we get into our Tuesday forecast. Not all day tomorrow. Better chance of rain is today, but still some scattered showers. You see how we're dry back through New England. And then keeping an eye on that next system, and I'll monitor that as we get into next week, This is, or later this week, I should say. This is by Wednesday. So late week, we'll see some of that moving into the Atlantic region of Canada. So Jamaica, 30-40% chance of rain. I was covering us with that chance of some scattered showers and, and some thunderstorms, mainly in the afternoon. Cayman Islands, it's not nearly enough. Rain chance about 20-30%. to 30%. Trinidad and Tobago, isolated showers possible. Now later this week, I'm going to see if some of this moisture to our south can creep up toward us in Trinidad. So I'll be watching that as you hang with me. Barbados, isolated showers, 20-30% to 30 chance. And back through St. Lucia, easterly breeze, 20 to 30 percent chance of showers. Grenada, same thing, 30 percent chance on Wednesday. Tomorrow and Wednesday, St. Vincent the Grenadines, rain chance about 30 percent. You see Martinique up to about a 40 percent chance on Wednesday and a 30 to 40 percent chance in Dominica tomorrow and Wednesday. Rain chance gets higher as we go throughout the week. Not a washout, but we will see that bump up in the rain. Same thing in Guadalupe, and I was talking about that earlier with some of those rain totals. Isolated Antigua and Barbuda, about a 30 percent chance, a 30 percent chance. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. A 40% chance today in Anguilla and St. Bart's. Could see a few passing showers. And as we go throughout midweek, in that 30 to 40% chance, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. Some uh, isolated to scattered showers around. But Puerto Rico, the rain chance is elevated. That 50 to 60% chance of rain. And as we work our way toward the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, not quite as much as Puerto Rico. It won't be quite as widespread, more in that way of kind of spotty passing showers every now and then. Now we get back toward the DR, leaving it at about 50%, but eastern sections of the DR, it is higher than that. Isolated flooding, watching out for some areas of flooding, even back toward Haiti, south side of Haiti. That's where we have a better chance south of Port-au-Prince. Get back through the Bahamas, mainly dry. The southern Bahamas, we could catch a couple more showers just as you get a little bit closer to the Turks and Caicos. You see the rain chance Turks and Caicos tomorrow at 30%. Mainly dry across uh, Cuba. Eastern end would be the best chance of a shower. Belize, not as much action. Rain chance, 20%. 10 to 20% chance Yucatan and Mexico and a 10 to 20% chance in Aruba. It goes up slightly. Like I was mentioning in Trinidad, we'll see if some of this moisture from Venezuela, for example, starts to lift up toward Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire by the end of the week. Bermuda, we're mainly on the dry side with a lot of sunshine around. Rain chance Costa Rica and Panama, 20 to 30 percent. And there it is. You see that rain chance going up. Guyana in Suriname. Midweek, the rain chance will be much higher, up to an 80 percent chance in Suriname. We're going to see a surge of some moisture that will be working in northern Venezuela, 
20 to 30 percent chance. So it's going to be busy as we go throughout the week tracking those areas of rain today. And the spots that are dry today may get some of the rain later this week. Isolated areas of flooding. If you are on the dry side, though, very hot. So keep an eye on some of those wildfires and not too far away from the start of hurricane season which starts June 1st. So thank you for joining me. I hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. Have a great rest of your day.